Hey, Vsauce here. No, I'm getting it's the Taoist Flyer. I'm alive, I'm back. I got a new haircut. I got a new hat. That's right. Still can't eat solid foods. It's been about three weeks, but we're getting better. We're getting healthier. But today, I got something special to show you. You see, Wakira sent me an email about three months ago. They said they are developing a new drone called the Vitus 4K Folding Following Super Awesome Badass Drone. They said, would you like to help us test it out? I said, okay, I'll help you test it out. So this is a sponsored video. This was sent to me for free. I don't have a thousand bucks to go buy this drone with, but I did tell them I'd do them a nice unboxing video, show some of the 4K video, get some of my thoughts. So let's go ahead. I'm not a huge fan of unboxing videos. Everybody's always all like, ooh, look, this is my knife. I use this all the time to cut stuff. This is actually the knife my wife gave me for my birthday this year. Let's go ahead and open up this package here and We'll try and actually talk a little bit about Wakira. So, Wakira is not a brand new company. They have been on the scene for quite some time. Actually, they've been out there longer than I've been doing videos. And I've been doing videos for over a decade now. Now, Wakira produces helicopters. They produce racing drones. They produce a lot of different stuff. But this is going to be... Oh my goodness, look at that, that's beautiful. It comes in its nice little carrying case. Look at that, okay, so this is going to be a folding 4K drone. Oh. oh gosh, I hate unboxing videos. You don't really learn that much from them, but you do get that vicarious experience of having your own Vitus. We've got some nice title there, Walk Here branded zippers. So let's go ahead and open it up. And take a look. Wow, well, it's quite pretty there. There is our Vitus drone. Hot tips. Please watch the video tutorials and read the manual carefully before using this product. You can find these videos at wakira.com. Yeah, I would highly suggest looking through all the videos. So this is a pretty heavy little drone. I mean, my goodness, that feels like it weighs well over a pound. Definitely going to have to have FAA... Uh, registration to fly this thing around but it looks beautiful let's see if we can just manually unfold it here like that like that like so and like so so brushless motors 4k gimbal uh, let's see obstacle avoidance navigation waypoint navigation gps auto return Nice tiny little 4K gimbal there. It's got bushings on there that mount it really nicely there. So we will have to see how smooth the video looks. I will post just some raw 4K video for you guys. Please tear off the protective paster before flying. Okay, And there is a little protective piece of plastic right here on the front there. I think that's what they're talking about. But that is the drone. This thing's quite heavy. Let's see if we can find our battery. Is this our battery here? Our little... Yeah, like that. Oh my goodness, most of the weight of this aircraft is that battery right there. It's an 11.4 volt, 5200 milliamp, 59.28 watt hour battery. So there you go. That should give us a good, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes worth of flight. Got brushless motors there, nice little rotors there. And of course, very kind to include two extra batteries. Super sweet. Super sweet. Super sweet. And of course, our transmitter. Nice little transmitter here. Going to pop it up like so. Pop it up like so. I'm going to have to download some apps. And then pop your phone up in there for your visual display there. Nice little legs to rest, to, uh, rest on. It's got a little fan cooling unit on the back. Gimbal pitch. Camera controls and so forth right there. There you go. You got your transmitter sticks there. You got button, button, power button. Manual, auto, sport mode. So that's your transmitter. Nice looking little transmitter. And this is... This is a Devo F8S transmitter. So there you go. There is your Devo transmitter. Let's see what else we've got here. Little foam block right there. 
We've got this little black package right here that also has in it a couple extra spare little bits and pieces and bits and bobs and let's see a larger mount for probably a tablet a USB charging cable another USB charging cable I know that's a power plug for your battery charger some hex wrenches some extra mounts there what is this what is this? What is this? Some more rubber mounts there. Probably rubber legs. And let's see what comes in this little package here is our battery charger. So that is everything you need to get your Vitus drone up in the air. It's going to take a little time to get this charged and test it all out. But we will let you guys walk along with us for those test videos and get our initial impressions of this Walk Hero folding drone here little competition for the Mavic. So if you want something that is like a DJI Mavic, but you don't really want to spend the extra amount of money, this is uh, what you got on the market here. And you know, I will say Wakira has produced some really nice consumer grade racing drones. Now when it comes to FPV racing drones, obviously you want to build your own drone if you're going to compete. But if you're just getting into the hobby, if you're just starting out doing your very first FPV racing experience, you know, Walkira has some really nice FPV race drones out there. So, you know, they have really come into their own. I used to give them a lot of smack back in the day and talk a lot of crap about their products. But Walkira has uh, really developed over the years into a really nice full-fledged company. Of course, some extra rotors here. That's good. And set of instructions there. There you go. All right, so that is everything that comes in the package of the brand new Wakira Vitus drone. Stay tuned for some of the 4K video, some of the demos, features, so on and so forth. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in to RC 101 for the last decade. Hopefully my health will get a little bit better over the next few weeks and we'll be able to produce some videos for some of this other stuff that we've got to show for the holidays. Got some R2-D2, some Sphero Minis, some other robots, and some other vehicles. So, as always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more.